Hi guys, welcome to this video in our How My Computer Works series. My name of course is Matt Bauer, and in this video I want to show you a few more Outlook tips. Now you may remember a while back I put out a few other videos with more Outlook tips and you can check them out in the link below. In this video, I'll show you some tips using Microsoft Outlook 2010. So if you're using an earlier version, the steps may be a little different. Now without further ado, here are some more tips for Microsoft Outlook. Accepting mail from safe senders and contacts only. Outlook's made it pretty easy for you to specify who's allowed to email you, while the unwanted emails are filed as junk mail. This is ideal for keeping unwanted mail out of sight. To do this, make sure you're on the Home tab. Just click the Junk icon in the Delete group here. Then select Junk Email Options. From here, you can click the Safe Lists Only option. This means you'll only receive email from people or domains, that's like at yahoo.com or at gmail.com, on your Safe Senders list or Safe Recipients list. To manage the contacts on your Safe Senders list, click the Safe Senders tab. You can add any email address from which you would like to receive email. You can also check the box that allows you to always trust email from your contacts and the box that will automatically add the people you email to the safe senders list. This includes new messages and replies. Click OK when you're done. Now I do recommend checking your junk email folder from time to time just in case one of your contacts has a new email address. Schedule emails. Outlook has made selecting the perfect time to communicate with your coworkers, friends, or family very simple. For example, let's say you're sending an email to someone who lives in a different time zone and their birthday is tomorrow. You can write that birthday email the night before and have it sent at midnight without even being at your computer. Though your computer does have to be on and connected to the internet, of course. To set a specific date and time for an email to be sent, simply go to the Options tab within your message and select Delay Delivery. The Do Not Deliver Before box should already be checked, so just select a specific date and time for your email to be sent. And click Send. Automatically close an email message after replying or forwarding. You may notice that when you open an email, click reply or forward, type a message, and send it, the original email window stays open. This can be a bit of a hassle if you're trying to keep your screen as tidy as possible and if you're trying to save time. But alas, there is a feature in Outlook 2010 and 2007 that can automatically close the original message after you forward or reply to it. You can enable this feature if you go to the File tab, or the Tools drop-down menu in Outlook 2007, then click Options. In Outlook 2010, just go to the Mail tab, scroll down to the Replies and Forwards section, check the first box, and click OK. In Outlook 2007, click on the Preferences tab, then Email Options. Check the first box and click OK, then OK again. I'll cover more Outlook features and tips in a future video, but if you have any training suggestions or comments, I'd love to hear from you, so go ahead and send me an email at training at mycomputerworks.com. You can also subscribe to our YouTube videos by clicking the subscribe link above any one of our YouTube videos. You can also check out my blog by going to mycomputerworks.com forward slash Bauer blog or by clicking the link on our homepage. Feel free to check us out on Twitter or Facebook by clicking the links in the more info section below this video. If you have any questions about My Computer Works or would like to know more information about our services, go ahead and give us a call at the number you see below or just visit us online at mycomputerworks.com. 
My name is Matt Bauer. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.